Mann! Was ist der das? Was ist der? Well, that took longer than expected. Mm. Right. Let's do it. Haven't we? The hell. Here we go, back again with another match day video. Yes, it's match day tomorrow. Something to go down to Carroll Road for 12 o'clock kickoff. 12 o'clock kickoff. 12 o'clock kickoff. For the courtesy of Sky Sports. Our games are being manoeuvred, manoeuvred left, right, and centre all over the shop. Yes, manoeuvred left, right, and centre everywhere. Everywhere you want to go, it's being moved around Sunderland Games. But we do play Norwich tomorrow. Now, team news do have some team news, some concrete team news, but also there's some gaps to fill in and also more injury news. I had a friend who messages last night and said, I've heard the news. Have you heard the news? I went, no. Apparently, there's another injured player in the squad. So I went down contact. I reached out to me contract. Contract? I reached out to me contact. And I got a message back. Yes. A message back. Apparently, we have a player who was injured. And the season's just getting bad to worse, isn't it? I mean, whereabouts are we in the table? After, after that string of, well done Middlesbrough, they came back from 1-0 down to win the day. But after this string of results today, where is Sunderland in the table at this moment in time? We're going to have a quick look at the table. Ah. First drink of the afternoon, and a nice little bit of glass of Sivion Blanc. First drink, been for me run, did all my bits and pieces, and now we'll have a look at the table before we get into the team news and the injured player. Standings. Sunderland are currently in. Dun, 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 dun. 12th place, we're in 12th place. I predicted at the start of the season we would finish in 12th place. <laughs> we're in 12th place. We do have a game in hand. If we do somehow beat Norwich tomorrow, we will move up to 52 points and we will only move into 10th place. Oh, the gaps are starting to approach. The gaps are approaching. And in 32 points, we're still 17 points off relegation. So we're perfectly fine that way. It's looking more like we're going to finish probably about mid-table. But with a good string of results, we could do well and bounce back up. Now, yes, I've heard news that a mad has a hamstring problem. A mad injured with a hamstring. I don't know how severe the hamstring prob problem is. I don't know how bad it is. Touch wood, his hamstring isn't as bad as a hamstring will be. Hamstrings, once you get a hamstring injury, they tend to be like an old friend that come knocking on the door every now and again. It comes back and it appears. Hopefully the hamstring injury is not as bad as you think, but a hamstring could be in between four to three months. So I do hope a mad is just a little slight tinge Nothing too bad, but Ahmad will not be in the team squad tomorrow with a hamstring injury. Another blow, along with Alessi out for the rest of the season. To be fair, I'd be amazed if Ahmad's back in the team again between now and the end of the season. A hamstring could be 
could be could be bad. So hopefully Touchwood is not too bad. And I wish Alessi all the best for the rest of the season as well. But we do move on to the team tomorrow. Now, I do know that Miss Shoot is a definite starter tomorrow. So Miss Shoot is a definite starter tomorrow. And I have no idea any pens here. Patterson in goal, Hume, Ballard, Bart, 9 We are not going to a back three. We are staying at four at the back. Four at the back tomorrow. Ballard, Bart, 9 and Hume. Not a back three. Disappointing, I thought. Against Norwich, we could do with the extra central defender in the back there. But no, we stay into a back four. But let's see what Tony can do. Miss shoots in. Then the rest... I don't know. I'm only I'm only guessing. I do know Luke O9 is a definite starter at left back. Luke O9 is definite starter at left back. Miss you a definite starter in the midfield. And we're staying with a back four. That's as much as I know. But with the team selections that we have in the side, I think we're gonna to have to go with Pritchard, Roberts, Clark, and Gelhardt. We do have who, but I do not know who this person is here. Is it gonna be Dan Neal? Will he swap and change it around or will he stick with tried and trip? Tried and tested, Dan Neal. But what happens if we don't do anything different? We go with a 4-2-3-1 again. What happens if we stay with a 4-2-3-1? What happens if we stay with Mitchell and Neal and we get battered down at Norwich? Does this mean, is, is it the time? Is, 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 is Mowbray's sort of fan base getting thinner and thinner at Sunderland? What happens if we don't win another game from now the end of the season? Does this mean Tony Mowbray's time's up? You know, we all know how short... The lifespan is of a head coach at a club. Now, so, but if Dan Neal, for me personally, I would have someone else in there. So if Dan Neal's not there, we've got Barr, who can come in. We've got Equa. But I don't know, I don't know. I'm thinking, I actually, I honestly do think. That manages... I honestly do think that managers, a lot of managers are stubborn. And I do think he'll stick Dan Neal in there. Even though I do think he could do with a bit of a break and a bit of a to freshen up the old mind. That's the team I do think they'll start tomorrow. 4-2-3-1. Like I said, miss you, definite starter. or 9 definite starter. And a mad has a hamstring injury. So there we go. It is a point. I will be doing the live stream tomorrow for the Norwich match. I hope we don't get a good old thump. And I hope we can bounce back. I, I mean, I would love. I'm the first person out there who would love to see Miss Shoot and Dan Neal perform fantastically well in the central partnership. Really bounce back and come up with the goods tomorrow. But I think it's very unlikely. I do feel if that's the team we play tomorrow that we will get beat. I know all doom and gloom. Do apologise. I don't see us winning a game you know, for a while until we change things around. We need to go to a back three. We need to have three central defenders with two wing backs. That is just my personal opinion. What is your opinion on that team? What is your opinion with Luke 9 at left back? What's your opinion with the likes of Miss You definitely starting? And who would you have in the centre midfield? And why isn't Tony Mowbray going to a back three? Why or oh why? And you let me know. If we get tonked tomorrow at Carroll Road, which I hope we don't for the supporters' sakes, you know, for all them travelling fans going down there. I know the likes of... <clears throat> and I was at John Cousins' funeral yesterday. Massive, massive Sunderland fan. Janice... His wife is going down to Norwich tomorrow. Very early start. So again, my thoughts and prayers got Janice and her family. John was an absolute amazing Sunderland fan. I, lo I loved him as a person. Didn't have a bad word about to say about anybody else. And, you know, I just hope Janice and her friends go down to Norwich tomorrow. Enjoy your way, dear Janice. Janice, the funeral yesterday, the service was, the service was fantastic. The service was amazing. Afterwards was fantastic as well. Lovely food and everything. So, you know... Uh, only only 59, far too soon. But there we go. So I wish them a safe journey down to the state, down down to Carroll Road. I wish all the Sunderland fans a safe journey down there and a safe journey home them a row. I hope he can bring home the three points. But I really doubt it. Norwich in a, in a great run of form. You know, 13 points out of 15. Fantastic run of form. It's just, it is, it is typically just like Sunderland. Just like Sunderland to go down to Carroll Road and bring home the points tomorrow. There you go. Hope you are. I'm sorry I'm all do doom and gloom, but 
with a mad injured as well as Alessi and, and Serkin not being available. The concussion of Serkin is a massive problem. I really do hope he gets that sorted out. We need Dennis Serkin in the squad. But personally, I want him as a person to be sorted out because you do not want to have a head injury. So I hope the doctors can sort that out as well. Hogan's still missing, Gooch still missing. Injuries are piling up at Sunderland. Just as well we got those points in the bag and we will not be getting relegated this season. But we'll bounce back next season. Take care. God bless. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. I'm going to go and have a couple of glasses of wine. Enjoy myself before we do the live stream tomorrow against Norwich. Thank you for watching. God bless.